안녕하세요, 마바다 s Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so guys, you're seeing a familiar face. Anna, it's been so long. I did not feature her in my vlog because we have been busy and she's busy also. She has new work, I say. Like she's doing a lot of work. She's earning a lot of money. <laughs> so today she'll take me, guys. Uh, she'll, she'll leave me. Yeah. So guys, remember our last vlog together? It was about do we want to date a Filipino guy? Yeah, so we had a very fun discussion and a lot of you enjoyed our view, like it was really high. I didn't expect that. So today guys, we came back with the second one. Parang round two. Kasi my update si Anna. Ako ba? My duo na siya guys na Pinoy. Guy. I love this guy also. He's a good guy. So I think there will be a lot of differences in the perspective, right? Because now you really know how it feels to date a Filipino guy. And guys, I mean, ako din, guys. I have a guy who I'm talking to. Oh, I mean, I can see that one. You know, every, we always talk to. I mean, guys talk to a lot of guys so that you will know <laughs> who's the real one. Yeah, date a lot. Anyways, yeah, we have uh, different perspectives now because. We are experiencing it, you know what I mean? And if you experience something, you know it better. Yeah. So today, let's do a, like a simple Q&A. Similar question with the last one, but I'm sure our answers are kind of different. different. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. I'm nervous. Guys, before we start, I just want to say I'm disappointed to Anna. Why? Now that she has a boyfriend, she doesn't have time for me. <laughs> Wait, that's normal. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So what is the biggest differences among Korean guys and Filipino guys? Now that you are dating a Filipino guy, and you try dating Korean guys too, yeah. right? So what's the biggest difference? Okay, uh, first of all, I think having the family bond together with the Filipino ah, boys. Family. Yeah. Because you know, like as I have mentioned before in the video, um, in Korea. Unless you guys are really serious about it, yeah, like will, marriage, yeah, level, marriage level, yeah, you will not really get to meet the partner's parents. But here, it's so common. So like when we go um, to a trip, this time we went to Bohol with my family and him, and also I went to like Palestine with his family. So like this is very common and wow. like. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. Sorry. And then when there's like parties, birthday parties, or like New Year and Christmas, like I'm always there. I'm invited and like no hesitation. So I love it. Oh. Yeah. That's the oh, biggest thing. Oh yeah. Difference. I did not think of that actually. Yeah, that's really different. Mm -hmm. Families really welcome you yeah. as one of their family members. Yeah. Because in Korea, it's really weird to, you know, unless it's like a long term relationship or Actually, something. Actually, I had a two year relationship guy and a one year relationship guy in Korea, mm -hmm. very long term mm -hmm. also. And like, I was I was also thinking about marriage with them mm -hmm. before I came to Philippines. Mm -hmm. But even though I had like two and a half years relationship with that guy, I never met his family. Like, never. Oh! Yeah. But I think that's very common. I also know some Korean couples that they dated for five years, seven years, but they never met their parents yet. So yeah, that's really it's something rare in Korea to uh, bond with the family. Yeah. Like the whole family, talaga, ha? even sometimes cousins, yeah. like auntie, tita, tito. Yeah. yeah, it's really rare. And actually, that's really normal in Korea. So like, we won't be like, why, why he doesn't love me, ba? He yeah, yeah, he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't yeah, introduce me to my mom. Parents. Yeah. No, we don't think that way at all. So another one, this one, this is also very culture shock for me. Because in Korea, once, I don't know if it's only this family or like it's really normal in Philippines. But in Korea, when you're meeting the parents, of course you need to be conservative wearing your clothes. Oh, that I agree, yeah. So you need to wear like something that long sleeves, yeah, long, sleeve, long dress, and then long pants. Uh -huh. Not showing your skin. Up. Not too thick makeup. True. But here with Tita and you know the family of my boyfriend, we're just wearing like sleeves. Yeah. <laughs> like I just go out like this. <laughs> and like they don't mind at all. Yeah, yeah, they don't mind at all. That's 
Yeah, that's really good, I think. Some Filipinos might think, you know, you guys are so conservative, but compared to Korea, really, it's not. Yeah, yeah. for me, this country is so free. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. I, I love that. Some, I hope someday I can also experience that because, <laughs> yeah. Um, is that your boyfriend? Yeah. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Shut up, we're talking here. <laughs> Okay, the second question is How's our experience on dating? Is there any language barrier? Culture differences? A lot. Because like me and my boyfriend, we're both fluent in English. Like we don't mm. have any um, like Boundaries. hard time. Oh, yeah. Like hard time in speaking English. But there are some words or terms in Korean language that we cannot explain in English. Yeah, and we other. really want them to know how it, how, how, what it means. And in what situations we use this word, but still, they'll have hard time understanding, understanding it. it. Yeah. So, like for example, let's say, let's say, uh, oh, kilig. Yeah. In Korea, we call it soleta. Oh. But in English, if you really want to translate it, there's only one term, which is butterfly. But like you know, kilig and getting a butterfly is kind of different. different. You know, it's not the kilig that we yeah, want to yeah, say, yeah. Diba? So, parang ganon. So, whenever me and my boyfriend, example, we fight, we just give up. <laughs> like, ah, I, so, I super agree. Agree? I'm just like, wag na, let's just stop talking about it. Because I don't want to get mad. True. Yeah, I, I say, wag na, let's just stop. Ganon. Because, like, even though we want to explain ourselves, mm. wala eh, they cannot understand the situation or the term talaga. Mm. So, like, even my boyfriend, like, he told his friends, Pinoy friends and his family, like, they're gonna ask, Oi, if you guys fight, ano, how do you guys ano, like, mm, um, communicate? communicate ganon. Of course, we also fight sometimes with the small things, but we don't go to the point na super, super, super angry, mm. you know? Because like, we just give up on how we try to explain the things, and he'll gonna tell them, like, you know what, if Anna could actually be 100% pure Pinoy, she'll be like, so he's lucky. But, but I cannot do it. Yeah, okay. So by limitation talaga. Yeah. That's actually a benefit for dating a foreigner. For me, but for you it's like ah, oh, tap tap eh. Yeah. That one also I tap tap eh. Yeah, I, I don't know how to explain this feeling na tap tap eh. Like mm -hmm. sometimes I really want to say, you know, our communication is tap tap eh, but it, I search the meaning, it's yeah. stuffy. Stuffy. Like, but the stuffy is the feeling of not feeling like you cannot breathe. Yeah. But it's different it's with tap tap eh. Like Ah, like tap tap it. Now I'm tap tap it. Yeah, we can. <laughs> yeah, we can explain. Yeah. For English. Okay, so now let's talk about the cultural differences. Like, how's your experience on this? Um, cultural difference. Actually, because there's no much a lot of cultural dif differences. Because like you know, we grew up yeah, here, here, so yeah. we know the culture of Philippines already. But maybe if a new fresh Korean will be dating us. Ah, uh, mahirap. Yeah, mm. madaming cultural differences. Mm, so. Mahirap. So in Korea, so gifts are very important if you look and at And it's very people. common. Common? Yeah. So if your friend is sick and hospitalized, mm. they're gonna give you a gift set. Yeah, drinks. like fruits. Fruits. Gonna... For example, if it's New Year, mm. my boyfriend will visit my family. You know, sometimes my parents kind of feel like, you know, kind of... Ah, okay, this guy's not prepared. No. But in the Philippines, it's a normal thing. Yeah, it's I normal. totally get it. Okay, guys, you might think this is something materialistic or something, but it's not. Because in Korea, uh, every time you visit the parents, you get something. Even after marriage, huh? even after you're so com uh, comfortable with the parents. Mm -hmm. Even to our own parents, huh, we bring gifts. I don't know, it's, it's a thing in Korea yeah. also, right? Even small. No, yeah, yeah, the guy is small, you know. Mm -hmm. But here it's it's really not common. Yeah. You know the you know the five language lo the love language. Oh. Giving gifts is one of the love language, right? Yeah. So I think that's one of the most important love language in Korea. Korea. Yeah. yeah. But me, mine is quality time, naman. Mm. Also quality time. Mm, quality, quality time. time then. Yeah. So we we don't really expect. Because we're from the Philippines. Yeah, 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 yeah. But if we are girls, we're, we're the girls from Korea dating yeah. a Filipino guy, we would be, I think, sad if our guys don't prepare anything for us or our or parents. parents. And guys, don't misunderstand. It's a mutual thing. We also give to 
the parents. Of course. So me for sure, if I visit my Joa's parent, I'm gonna bring something nice. Yeah. Of course, I don't wanna go with the empty hand. Mm. Yeah. So I think that's the difference. It's yeah. the meaning of being respect. Yeah. To the parent. Yeah. Also. That we really value the time that you gave us. Yeah. Yeah. We wanna have good time with you. Parang Yeah. Cause I hear parang during Christmas season or birthday lang they give gifts. Mm -hmm. They give exchange. Yeah. But in Korea, like occasionally, um, you know, like just visiting house, mm. they will prepare something at least small thing. So it's a tip for you guys yeah. who are dating a Korean in the future or now. If you're visiting his family for yeah. the first time or at least second time, buy at least fruits or like maybe for for mothers flowers, so yeah. flowers yeah. or chocolate. At least ganon, just yeah. you know, like show them respect. Okay, we're already in our last question. Oh, so yeah. fast. And we talk so much. I think they're tired. Like, <laughs> we're so much tired, you know? And you know, I love the compliments we got. They said we're so like jolly though. Like, mm. You know, because we really vibe together, guys. Yeah. You know, so we have a lot of things to talk about. And like, Anna is the only person who I can really connect when it comes to topic in the Philippines because she also grew up here. So yeah, third question, guys. This is our last question. Before we asked each other, mm -hmm. do you see a future with a Filipino guy? Yeah. Now let's change the topic into do you do you think you can marry a Filipino guy? Yes, of course. Like you know what I mean? Like real legit. Like not just uh, you know, I think I can marry him. No, not like that. Now that we're having a lot of experience and you you're dating a Filipino guy. Yeah. Like do you see a future with them? Me uh, yes. with them? With him. <laughs> Sorry, I'm connection with him. Yeah. I have a secret boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Me, yes. Still, yes. Because mm. I think it's really, it's just us, us yata. Because eh. we, we lived here. Eh. Mm. So, like, it's not even awkward if we bring a Filipino man to our house mm. and introduce him that, Ma'am, uh, Mama, mm. or this Papa, is my boyfriend. this is my boyfriend. Like, we won't even get awkward with it. And also, um, I love the culture of Filipino family. Mm. Like, uh, for me, I also see a future with a Filipino guy. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I worry, since this is a serious topic, sometimes I worry. Yeah. Do you know that um, mm -hmm. Yeah, like yeah. Korean Filipino kids, they sometimes get bullied in Korea because their skin tone is what different. Uh, sometimes I worry about that because of course we have to be thinking deep about our future because we're gonna eventually have kids also, right? Yeah. But for me, ha, if I will have a kid, I wanna stay in the Philippines mm -hmm. so that they can also learn English. But also, oh no, no, I never thought about that. Yeah, you, then... you should consider that also. Even the wife and husband is successful. Yeah. If we're a foreigner marrying someone, they will think na, oh, the mom married this guy for money. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why that always carries around. Like. I that's so stressful for girls, no? For True. For women. Yeah. For women. Anyways, yeah, that's also my worry, yeah. Mm. But yeah, uh, despite all those worries, it's God who will decide for us. So I'm okay if He gives me a decent Filipino guy. Mm. But of course, it has to fit in my standards also oh. and my parents' standards. Mm -hmm. You know, my, my my dad always make jokes like, you know, Christy, you can date any guys like what Chinese, whatever, Filipino, but make sure that they're financially stable. Which is very true, yeah. That's very important. So another one is about visa problem. Yeah. Uh so you know, example we wanna go travel, mm. you know. Us cause the Korean passport is very it's the strong. second strongest. It's the second yeah. strongest. So we can go like one hundred and ninety two countries right? yeah. with no Anywhere, visa. Yeah. Guys, let's admit. Do not do not say like you guys are looking down to the Philippines. No, <laughs> stop saying that. Okay, let's be real. But yeah, because I want to mention this because you know, this is also one of the problem. When we marry a Filipino guy, yeah, 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 yeah. And also, like, example, I want to visit Korea often, but like, you should get all the visa for, ah, the for your husband. That's so stressful. Just for traveling, lang. at least one week travel, mm. still we need the visa. Mm. And like, we need to wait for two to three months at least. Yeah. If my child chooses Korean citizen, we, he, he requ it requires visa in the Philippines. True. If my child chooses Filipino citizenship, it's gonna require visa in Korea. True. So. I mean, 
Also about guys, if it's on military issues. <gasps> That's right. If yeah. it chooses Korea, he has to serve in the military. <laughs> but if it chooses Philippines, no military. But you need to get visa all the time when he travels. So that's a very, you know. Oh my gosh, now that we're talking about, we're realizing there's so many things to consider in our future when we meet a Filipino guy. Yeah. Even the same goes for Filip uh, Korean guys who's meeting Filipino girls. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a very interesting topic. Mm -hmm. So now, can I ask you again this question? Can you marry a Filipino man? Feeling <laughs> 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 no, no, like. You know, now that we're having the serious discussions, mm -hmm. like I'm realizing it's really hard pala. Like there's so many things to consider. True. But if you love someone so bad, I don't think that matters, you know yeah. what I mean? So bahala na sa future ko. <laughs> Anyways guys, yeah. So we really had fun talking about this today. Mm -hmm. Because um, I think it's a rare topic to talk about, especially for Korean girls. Uh -huh. So are you happy with your love life right now? I am very happy. I'm very satisfied. And like, you know, to be honest, those consideration things, when you're into a relationship, na, like, it's not a big deal anymore. Because like, they're gonna talk about it. Like, how are we gonna fix this? How yeah. are we gonna solve this? How can we do this so that, you know, it can be smoothly done? So it's not gonna be a big deal at all. Okay. But I'm really happy for Anna, guys. Because remember, her perspective on the Filipino guys before were kind of like um, fuck boys. Yeah, the fuck boys. Because <laughs> she experienced it. But now maybe she really met a man, not a boy. Yeah. True. Congratulations. And maybe uh, next luck for me. I mean, God uh, bless you. Yeah, God bless me <laughs> with a nice man. So, guys, if you want another discussion, so just leave a comment down. Yeah, we would really would, would love to talk about other topic that's mm -hmm. interesting. Like you can also ask, ask us about school life and everything, whatever. That's gonna be fun. Yeah. School life in Philippines. Mm -hmm. How was it? Yeah, and you went to Korean University, I went to La Salle, so mm -hmm. we might have a lot of differences too. Mm -hmm. So we'll say goodbye here guys. See you in my next video and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye! Bye. Bye. Bye.